All right. Um, following up on my one where I inspected the rod bearings, um, I'm actually going to take the cap back off again when I do my new uh, factory bolts. And we're going to plastic gauge um, the bearings just to see where I'm at. Uh, if they're out of spec, then I'm going to hunt a little bit more for some replacement bearings, but uh, I won't know until I get in here and plastic gauge it. So we're going to go through and quickly plastic gauge uh, a, uh, a rod journal. So let's get at it. Okay, so here's the plastic gauge that you want to use. You want to use the 1 thou to 3 thou uh, clearance range. Uh, the specs for these uh, bearings are... I believe 0 0.0012 to 0 0.0003. Anything bigger than 003, it's out of spec. Uh, anything lower, it's too tight. So take a bit of this and we'll cut it off. And be careful, you don't want the little piece of plastic in there to fall out. So open this up. Try and open this up. That's what the plastic gauge looks like. It's just a real thin cylinder of plastic that'll crush when we tighten it down. And generally we want it wide enough to cover the journal from side to side. So just like that. Can you see that there? Right there. So I'll get the rod cap, we'll put it on, and then we'll start our torque sequence. Okay, so we have our torque wrench set to 22 foot-pounds, which is the factory torque setting for these rod bolts. You don't need a fancy torque wrench like this. Anyone will do. You just want to make sure that you're as close as you can be to that torque. So let's go ahead and get this torqued up. One other thing is you don't want to throw away that piece of paper because that's what you use to compare um, your measurement to on the plastic gauge. You also want to make sure that uh, you've wiped all the oil off that crank journal and that you don't turn the motor, allow the motor to turn at all when you're doing this because it'll smear uh, the plastic gauge. So now the next thing is we do angle. So, okay, it's calibrated. So now we're going to go through and do 90 degrees. This one. And there's our 90 degrees. So now we'll go ahead and break these loose and we'll take a measurement of our plastic gauge. So let's bust these loose and see what we got.
Let me get the camera over here so you can see it. Okay, so you can see our little bit of plastic gauge there now. It's all flattened out. So we need to take this that's got our gauge on it and hold it over top. So I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like we're right at 0 0.002. Right at 0 0.002, so that's perfect. I think that's that's actually the spec, I believe, on these ones. So I'll look it up in a minute. I'll put it in the description or right down here. Uh, but that means that uh, we're good. The bearings are okay. Um, they look fine, so uh, I definitely don't have any reservations about running them in here again. Uh, these tolerances or clearances are good, so we can uh, go ahead throw some assembly lube on here, drop the cap on, put the new bolts in, torque it down, and we know that our bottom end is uh, good to go. So, or at least this one's good to go, and with the assumption, with this one being good, the assumption is that the rest of them will be good as well. So, there we go. Okay, so we know that we have uh, a good bottom end in the K24 now. Uh, we know that the bearing tolerances or clearances are fine. Um, so I'm totally okay running it uh, with the bearings it's got and the way it, uh, it checks out. So yeah, just a quick one. I just wanted to go over that. I didn't want to leave any kind of details out uh, for people following along just in case you wanted to use this as a DIY. Please don't do that though. Please watch better YouTube channels that go into the proper details of this. I'm just giving you kind of a quick once over what's going on. So. Uh, the other thing to do is make sure that you wipe that plastic gauge off of the crank. You don't necessarily need to, but I always remove it with some brake cleaner and before I assemble. And make sure you use a good uh, assembly lube on that. All right, everyone have a great night. Bye-bye.